Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on December the 10th, 2020. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. Uh, so in terms of the overall picture here, uh, what are we seeing? Uh, first of all, uh, UK, uh, we did see pound drop today. And the problem there is um, there is no agreement and both sides seem to be far apart still. So there, there is, um, that's why we had negative sentiment in regards to the pound. And uh, now they have given an ultimatum that they need to come up with an actual uh, they need to be able to come up with an agreement soon. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have a hard Brexit without any sort of a trade deal, which will not be good uh, for the British pound or either side, really. So overall, uh, so that was negative for the British pound today. And then coming up on Thursday here, we have an important day here for Euro. We have um, EU summit, first of all. And then we also have the monetary policy statement, ECB press conference. Now, with this one, um, the main focus here will be on um, on what the monetary policy will be going forward, keeping in view uh, the tough uh, winter months we are going to see here. Um, and also, uh, there will be questions in regards to the Brexit. So if there is no Brexit deal, uh, what the impact would be um, on the markets, basically in um, on Europe, as a result of a no deal Brexit, so there's there's got to be concerns around that as well. So we'll have to watch out for the commentary here. Uh, how they position is really what we'll have to pay attention to if they're not too concerned uh, about stuff. So if they say uh, something like the winter may be hard, but then uh, they are looking at an uptick in the economy into the later months of uh, 2021, uh, those type of things will be positive. If they talk about expanding the monetary policy, that would be positive. Um, so we'll have to just keep an eye on the commentary here. Other than that, we have CPI numbers here for the US. They are expected to be almost in line with uh, what the previous were, so not, not much um, growth here, slightly higher here. Uh, if the numbers come in as expected, I wouldn't expect much of a change. Um, and then also in regards to the stimulus bill, those negotiations are still continuing. So we'll have to wait to see if anything actually an agreement can be reached um, on that. All right, so let's move on to the charts now. And we'll start off with Euro dollar here. Euro, it's still trading in this range here. It hasn't been able to break through the support level. It tried, but then it closed above that. So right now, bias is still neutral. If we don't see a break, we're likely to see a move back up and we may get a range bound move here. So for the time being, bias is neutral. Once we see a break through it, then we will look for a move back down towards 1.1900. So for the time being, I'm looking for a range bound market here. Uh, unless it breaks down through this 1.2070 level, then we'll look for this move to this candle to get filled. But until then, it is looking a range bound, so neutral bias here for euro dollar pound here pound is struggling um, and this is mainly to do with brexit and or the or not being able to reach an agreement on brexit here so over the last few days it has been extremely volatile and i would expect this volatility to continue into the end of the year uh, especially if we don't see um don't see any kind of an agreement. So right now, bias is neutral to bearish. I'd be looking for a move back down towards 1.3220. So neutral to bearish bias here, but do expect volatility in the pound dollar. Um, Aussie dollar here, this one did try to make a break of higher here. So we see that price has consolidated, then gone higher, consolidated, gone higher, consolidated. And we are seeing a similar move here as well. Right now, neutral to slightly bullish bias, target is 0 0.7500. New Zealand dollar, we did see price go all the way into the high here, 
into the top of this range that price has been trading in. And from there, we did see a big pin. Now, it hasn't broken through the support yet. So we do have a bearish pin bar, but we need to see a support uh, break through the support for it to continue lower. So at this point, bias is uh, neutral to bearish here. It will turn uh, fully bearish once we see a break. If we don't see a break, we could get a similar move to what we saw in Euro. We could see a turnaround here. So for now, neutral to bearish bias. Once it goes through, then it becomes bearish. Next target is 0 0.6950. Dollar cat here. This one is sideways in a very, very tight range right now. Um, it went <laughs> in both ways in this range. Hasn't broken through, but it hasn't dropped through the support either. As long as it holds below 1.2825, we're looking for a drop. But if it doesn't break through the support, basically, then we are range bound here again. So neutral bias to, uh, for dollar cat. Let's take a look at our commodities now, starting off with silver. We were looking for a drop here yesterday. We got that uh, because of the pin bar here. So bearish bias here, but keep in mind this strong support here. If it doesn't go through, we could get a range bound move here. Bias is bearish though. Once we see a break, then only then are we looking for this drop back down. So uh, new, bearish bias here with caution though, Watch out for the support. If it doesn't go through, it could turn around. Uh, in terms of our targets, 22.50 is the first target. 21.85 is the second target. Gold here, we did see um, price come into this resistance and it's held below this support resistance level here. So this is a strong level. Um, and this is looking bearish. So I would look for a bit of a pullback to retest this level. And then target here is 18, fifth, um, 1816. So bearish bias for gold. Uh, oil here, oil still stuck in a range here. It's sideways right now. Today's candle close is completely neutral. So I would look for a range bound move still. I will, so we may get a, a retest of 46.50 if it holds, looking for a drop towards 43.75. So bias is neutral to bearish for oil. Copper here, copper is still stuck in a range. Again, pretty much everything seems to be range bound at the moment. We did see a retest of the support, bounced off, and now it's right in the middle. So I am looking for a range bound move here as well. So neutral bias for copper. I will look for price to trade between 3.41 to 3.50. Bitcoin here, we did see a drop through the support, but it hasn't really been able to make it through um, any lower here. So right now, neutral to bearish bias here, we may see a retest of either 18,000 or um, 17,500. And then we may see a turnaround here. So overall price is still stuck in this overall range. So neutral to bearish bias here for Bitcoin. S&P 500. So we are, um, we have a nice bearish candle close here, bearish engulfing candle close. The only concern is prices into support. So this is where we could see some, uh, if it doesn't go through, it could turn around. But bias is bearish though. And in terms of our targets here, we are looking at first target would be 3630 and then 3600. So bearish bias for S&P 500. NASDAQ here, big drop in NASDAQ. This is looking bearish here. I will look for a potential pullback towards 12,400 and then looking for a drop towards 12,000. So bearish bias for NASDAQ as well. Dow Jones here, this is also looking bearish. Uh, it's been stuck in this range for a long time. So looking for a move towards the bottom of the range towards 29,880 uh, and then 29,500. So bearish bias for Dow Jones. And DAX here, this is still neutral. It's stuck in a range. Uh, price went and tested the high, couldn't break through. So I am looking for a range bound move here. So neutral. Uh, bias for DAX. 
Uh, FTSE here, FTSE is also sideways at the moment. It's just been back and forth. It's going sideways here. It's still holding above this previous support resistance level though. Uh, so we may see a move towards 6,600 and then back into the range. So neutral bias, neutral to bullish bias here for Nikkei, uh, for FTSE. And Nikkei here, Nikkei did go test the high. We did, and we got a rejection from there. So in this case, we may get a retest. And if it holds, we're looking for a move back down in the range again. So this is a range bound. It's been stuck in this range for a couple of weeks and it is still looking range bound. So bias here is neutral for Nikkei. All right, so that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day tomorrow and I'll be back again uh, with my analysis tomorrow again. Bye for now.